Hello everyone, welcome to Infijan in this very very exciting and powerful video of rational equation challenges where we are going to solve one very very interesting equation 1 over x minus 2 whole square plus 1 over x plus 2 whole square equal to 1 over x whole square. So let's get started by multiplying both sides x square. So I will begin with multiplying both sides x square. So I need to multiply here also. But before that we can talk about x cannot be equal to 0, x cannot be equal to 2, x cannot be equal to negative 2 also. As you can see x0 then denominator will be 0, minus 2 or plus 2 denominator will be 0. That means undefined. So we will avoid those values. Okay, once I will multiply both sides with x square, equation will become x square, let me write in the separate form, over x minus 2 whole square plus x square over x plus 2 whole square equal to 1. Now I am going to multiply once again. This time I will multiply both sides with x minus 2 whole square times x plus 2 whole square. Whole square, whole square. So I will multiply RHS also x minus 2 whole square times x plus 2 whole square. And why we are doing this? To get rid of the denominator. Okay. Let's expand. You will understand easily. So I will write here x square multiply with the first term of the bracket. So x minus 2 whole square x minus 2 whole square will be over. What would be left? x square times x plus 2 whole square. Second term. You can see x square times x minus 2 whole square. This denominator x plus 2 whole square will be cancelled out with x plus 2 whole square. And RHS will have x minus 2 whole square times x plus 2 whole square. Now you can see easily we will take x square common in the LHS. So we will have x plus 2 whole square plus x minus 2 whole square. And right hand side we can write c powers are same. So I can write x minus 2 times x plus 2 and then I will put whole square. Ok, now let's expand using algebraic identity. We will expand. Let's expand LHS first. So I will write here I am going to write a plus b whole square. So a square plus b square plus 2ab. Here I will write a minus b whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab. Right hand side. a plus b, a minus b. The difference of a square formula will come. That means a square minus b square. So we will have x square minus 4 whole square as it is. Now minus 4x plus 4x, it will get cancelled out. So what is left? x square in bracket will have 2x square plus 8 and right hand side will have let me expand this one a minus b whole square so a square a square is x square whole square x power 4 plus b square so 16 minus 2ab so 8x square okay so lhs we have is still one more expansion left. So I will write 2x power 4 plus 8x square and RHS it is x power 4 minus 8x square plus 16. So this equation is going to convert it into one quartic equation x power 4 plus 16x square minus 16 equal to 0. So instead of that rational equation, it would be easier to solve quartic equation and equation is x power 4 
plus 16x square minus 16. Let's solve it. x power 4 plus 16x square minus 16 equal to 0. Very easy equation it is. Once I will give substitution, x square is equal to t. So let me write, let x square is equal to t. So equation will become t square plus 16t minus 16 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. In t, I will apply quadratic formula. So let me write here t is equal to minus b. So minus 16 plus minus square root of b square. So 16 square minus 4ac. So 4 times 1 times negative 16 divided by 2a. So 2. So I will write minus 16 plus minus square root. 16 square is 256 plus 64 divided by 2. Then I will write minus 16 plus minus square root 320 divided by 2. Now if you will find factors of 320 then 64 times 5. So I can think about 64 times 5 square root 64 is 8. So we can write this one as minus 16 plus minus 8 root 5 divided by 2. Okay. So t value is and remember don't forget this x square we have presumed t because we have to put back that value also. So once I will divide by 2 numerator denominator then it will become minus 8 let me write here itself minus 8 plus minus 4 root 5. Okay, minus 8 plus minus 4 root 5. And this is t value. Remember this one. Okay, let's put the value of t back. x square. So I, I will write minus 8 plus minus 4 root 5. And this is our x square. Okay, I can take 4 common out. 4 if I will take common out, then it will become minus 2 plus minus square root 5. This is our x square. Remember, now I am going to take square root both sides. So I will write x is equal to plus minus 2 and square root of minus 2 plus minus root 5. Now, one important thing is left only. That is, if I will consider, let me write this root in separate form. x is equal to plus minus 2 square root minus 2 plus root 5 separately. And then I am writing plus minus 2 square root minus 2 minus root 5. Okay. So this is how you can write. Now you can see this value is purely negative. So square root of negative number that means here we are having two complex solutions and here we are having two real solutions. Okay. How we can write this one? So I will write x is equal to plus minus 2. This will be unchanged minus 2 plus square root 5 because root 5 is more than 2. So this value square root value would be positive inside square root positive value. And here we are writing plus minus 2 and then we, we can write i outside and inside there will be 2 plus square root 5. Okay. Let me write it. And see why this is happening because of we know that i is equal to square root negative 1. Okay, so let me write the final answer. x is equal to plus minus 2 square root of minus 2 plus square root 5. Here we are having two real solutions. And remaining two complex solution plus minus 2 i 
that is why it is complex and inside the square root we will write 2 plus square root 5 okay i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe bye bye till next video good luck